Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. Well, welcome to my March Saturday Stitching. And today we're going to be working on Rabbit, the Rabbit in Tulips by Joy Sunday. And it came from One Day Saving this morning. And the color I'm going to be using is a green. And its number is 987. And we're going to be working right in here, in this area on this side. So I kind of got it on its side. So how's everybody doing? You having a good weekend, a good Easter weekend? Oh my goodness. I think I caught a spring cold. I really do. Yesterday, I sneezed and sneezed probably about 30 or 40 times. Yeah. It was just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And it's kind of been stuffed up ever since. Yeah, it, it's special. So, I have no idea, but yeah. <sighs> Here we are. So, anybody doing anything fun and exciting for Easter? Or gonna go see the grandkids or your kids celebrating Easter? What am I doing here? Oh my goodness. Yesterday was a day. I went to the bank. And then I had to go to the other bank and pay my rent. And went to the dollar store and picked up a few things. And then I went, where did I go? To the grocery store and picked up some extra stuff odds and ends and I sat in my stitchy chair my rocking chair and stitched for oh maybe close to two hours and I worked on uh, what was I working oh Mount Fuji jigsaw puzzle and what else did I work on? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I worked on the beast for a little bit. Yeah, that's just going to be its name from now on. Got a few colors in. Here, there, and everywhere. I watched a little bit of YouTube and took a two hour nap and I got up and I had got the stuff, oh, what was it, last week when we had St. Patrick's Day ish? I got, or maybe it was the week after St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, it was a week after. I need a drink. Calling for water. So I had got the stuff to make Rubens. So I had some leftover, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Swiss cheese. So that's what I use in my French onion soup. And I had some, oh, I don't know. They're kind of rolls or whatever it was. They're kind of long and they, they kind of go to a point like that at the ends. It's kind of a long, kind of a roll. I don't know what they actually called it. But yeah, I had that. So I cut that up and put that in there with the French onion soup. It was yummy. So I had that last night for dinner. I had bought this stuff to make chili, but yeah, I really didn't feel like messing with it yesterday. So I guess I'll make it today. And then I will have it for well, the rest of the weekend, or this is kind of hard to stitch. Uh, oh, what was I saying? I'll have it for the rest of the week, you know, at when I get off of work, because it's still kind of chilly. I wouldn't say that it's gotten to the 60s or 70s yet around here. Yeah, we're still celebrating winter. Yay, go team. Not. So, 
not planning on going anywhere tomorrow. I do have a steak. I bought a prime rib. They had it on sale a couple weeks ago, so I just got it and froze it. And so I'm going to have a steak with spinach and yams and call it good. Maybe try to finish some more of this. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Told you. Here we are. I don't have time to be sick. Man, this material is just really thick. It's a pretty green, though. I'll give it that much. Come on. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me? There we go. And it doesn't help that the end of my other finger is still losing it. So I did stitch also on my uh, Riverside uh, building. Yeah, because it's so easy to stitch with and I can't not stitch. I was working on uh, Mount Fuji Jigsaw Puzzle and I took all that older green, if it could be called a green, it was more of a dark blue green, took it all out, ripped that all out, and the color that I told you that I had picked out, well I had done one small area, picked that all out too, and now my bridge is going to be red. Yep, so I found some red in my stash, and just going to make the bridge red. About all I can say. So I got that all started. Put the thread in with that. Put the rest of the thread, miscellaneous thread, away. Didn't work um, too much on my spring lady, but it's coming along. I wanted to stick with 11 count because it's easier to stitch with, but you know, at this point, this is just really hard. I'm going to pull this up. Hang on, guys. Alright, I'm back. I got a smaller needle. I could not hack that big, fat needle. So hopefully this will go better. I didn't use the one that came with the kit. Since it was 11 count, I had all these needles out, so why get another one out, right? Yeah, well, that didn't work so hard. Oh, my God. Come on. So, let's see what else. Nothing else going on that I know of. My daughter, I guess, their family's having, what do you call it, Easter, but, you know, the kids and... They barely get Easter baskets, you know, because they're almost past all that. Yeah. I think by next year we're good. So, hopefully they'll figure all that out. But not planning on going to their house for Easter Sunday or anything like that. <sighs> the weather, I swear yesterday, the wind blew, dang it, all day long. Just, I mean, it wasn't, at, at times it was like 25, 30 miles an hour, and then other times it was just kind of a steady 15 to, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Because when I had to go get the mail, about blew away. Now, by the time I drove back to the house, which was, what, 90 seconds, maybe? Yeah, it was fine. It was lower. Yeah. Awesome times. And it looked like it snowed up there on the mountain, but, yeah.
but it never did anything. It said it was supposed to rain yesterday. It didn't do any of that either, so. It was just kind of overcast, if you will, for most of the day. Oh my gosh. And I got stuff attaching itself everywhere. <laughs> so, get that out of the way. Now I gotta thread another needle. Because I'm not using that needle. I refuse. And, you know, of course I can't find... I had a bunch of the uh, little wire threaders. Yeah. I saw something on... This person, I think, does... Well, they'll do quilting and they will do... Um, I think her name is Aunt Bees. Is the name of her... Her YouTube channel. But she had this little gadget... I want to call it a hex threader. Does anybody know what that is? And I, I was sitting there and I'm like, so that's what that's for. Because a hundred years ago, 40 lifetimes and a couple of kids and, you know, in life, I remember we were playing with that thing. We didn't know what it was for. I mean, my mother probably did, but she didn't know we had it. We can figure out what it was. It's kind of got a square bottom and then it's got this tube thing that sticks up and you're supposed to put your needle with the hole down through it and you put the thread over some place, some other part of it and then you push this thing and it automatically threads the, the needle. Has anybody ever seen one of those? I think it was called Hex and it's H-E-X-E. -E threader yeah I had no idea what that was neither did we we played with it until we lost it probably and you can order them still at Amazon because I looked it up because that lady said oh well this is how you use this and and uh, you know, here's the, the link at Amazon to get one. But, yeah. I had no clue that's what that actually was used for. So, I kind of wish I had had one of those. You know, what can I say? It would help with the, the thin needles. Because these, um, I don't have one right out here, do I? I had one early. Oh, here it is. These will not go through those really fine ones. I don't care how thin this is and the bigger one, the other ones, that ain't happening either. So, but now you've all been informed. And ours was red. I want to say red and part of it was white. Yeah. And I don't remember my mother ever using it. I mean, she just threaded a needle, you know. So... That's something I've been doing for 40, 50 years or more. I didn't even know some things exist, but I used to have, I bought, you know, because I was crazy. and I bought those little wire ones, you know, with that little coin looking thing that you hold and then you put the thin part in there and then you're supposed to be able to thread the needle and it pulls apart every damn time. Because they're all made so cheaply. Yeah. Yeah. But. It would have helped. Oh my goodness. I thought this was going to be easy. It would probably be easier if my finger didn't hurt. That would probably help. Yes, I was so happy to get that uh, package from One Day Saving yesterday. I have been on the hunt for it for all of last week and all of this week that we just went through. And it finally showed up yesterday in the mail. After I went and complained and we pulled up the number and 
blah, blah, blah. It said it had been delivered, but it wasn't, you know, in my box. And, oh, dang nabbit, I left blue, a purple one right there. Anyway, so, yeah, three trips to the post office, and it finally shows up yesterday. <sighs> so that's why you got that video this morning. I was ecstatic. I think this will be fine once my finger heals up. I did get out some of my... Uh, oh, I don't have it right here. I'm looking at everything. You know that tape stuff that you put around your finger? I don't, I don't see any of it out. I see plenty of clips. I couldn't find any of them last week, and now there's like 25 um, whoops, on my desk today. But no, I don't see any of that. But you know what I'm talking about. So I finally wrapped it. It wasn't so bad when I was working on the 11 count big one or Riverside. It didn't bother me. But as soon as I started using a, a little bit smaller needle on that 14 count, oh, church was out. So that worked while well, I stitched on it. I wanted to, to get to the point where I could stitch the bridge. Yeah, I'm not getting it done very fast at all. So we're having fun now. <sighs> so I have no idea what I'm going to stitch on today or what I'll even feel like stitching on. All right, guys, I know we didn't get a lot stitched, but this is about all I can manage. We're going to go back, though. Hang on. Hold that thought. We're going to do something I never do, so I'm going to go run right underneath the bottom of that. I'm not going to undo it, and we're just going to get that right there. I usually don't go that far. If I'm going to travel, maybe a couple stitches at the very most. It just depends. There we go. Now I feel better. All right. Oh, and we got one right there, but I can pick that up when I start on that side. So, yeah, I think it's going to be cool. I do have some darker, darker green that I could go around some of these leaves with, but I'm going to have to see the whole thing to know what color to put with what so I might do some back stitching on that but who knows all right guys well thank you for joining me today I hope you all have a wonderful Easter day and a great weekend if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time God bless bye bye Keep stitching.